What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Lothexy and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator and 3, 2, 1, playing the hive. How are we all doing? I hope you guys are good. Uh, yeah, so welcome back. Today, as promised, we are going to be purchasing ourselves the beautiful coconut clogs. Um, yeah. So I said last episode that it is about time that we go and buy those bad boys. Now, the thing is, we've had the gummy boots for quite some time now, and I do believe, I'm going to double check just to make sure, but I do think that the gummy boots are still the best boots that you can buy. However, with the brand new system that's in place for all of these new items, the passive abilities of the lesser items all contribute towards the items that you wear to some extent. So I'll talk through that maybe a little bit later on, just in case you're curious. I might actually just show you what's the deal, basically. However, today is also a very special episode. Do you know what episode this is? Do you know what episode this is? Yes, this is our 200th episode here in Bee Swarm Simulator. Um... <laughs> So yeah, that kind of snuck up a little bit quick. So in this particular episode, we are going to buy uh, the coconut clogs. However, I do have something really fun planned for next episode, which I think is going to be pretty awesome. Um, so, ooh, it is nighttime. Okay. So yeah, as I was saying, I've got something kind of cool planned for next episode. Uh, this is going to be a fun one, but I can't quite do it just yet because I need to save up uh, a few more micro converters. And uh, yeah, that's kind of like a little bit of a clue as to what we're going to be doing. Um, but yeah, I need to save up a few more micro converters. We've got seven right now. Uh, I would ideally like to get a stack of 15. And yeah, I'm going to do some grinding. I'm going to hand in some quests, this, that, and the other. And hopefully we should have that by next episode. Um, but yeah, anyway, as I mentioned, this is episode number 200. Now the thing is, <laughs> if you look at the playlist, there's a few episodes missing. So it doesn't say episode 200. And that's my bad. I've had a bit of trouble with the playlist. It's really weird. Um, so I'm going to have to go and try and fix that. But according to my like recorded rendered episode, this is episode 200, so I thought I would begin this video by thanking everyone for joining me on this journey. Whether you are a new subscriber or a new viewer, hello, how are you doing? My name is James, lovely to have you. Or, if you're someone that's watched for quite a while, uh, yeah, it's been quite the journey. <laughs> it got me thinking, like, there's not very many games on Roblox that you could do 200 episodes on. And you've got to remember, like, Bee Swarm is technically a simulator although i don't think it is i've always felt like it was way more than just a simulator it's not it's just like it's its own game in its own right and to be able to do 200 episodes on this fantastic game very very cool um so yeah i just thought i would thank everyone uh for joining me along the journey no matter where you have joined me in that uh, and also on it himself for creating such a wonderful game uh, and yeah just thank you so much for being here Okay, right, so I think what we're going to do... Oh, just before we actually make the clogs, we can actually hand in uh, one of the Spirit Bear quests. So I feel like I've slightly lost count. I will double check just before we do, like, quest number 20. But we just finished the Witness Grandeur quest uh, for Spirit Bear. And this one was 350 million White Pollen, 300 million from Mountaintop, 150 million Spider, 30 million Goo from White Flowers, 150 Inspire... 150 honey tokens, 500 blueberries donated to the wind shrine, and one single oil. <laughs> Which I found was a really weird quest. Maybe it was a typo. I feel like that was supposed to say 10. Um, but yeah, we just finished that one, so we're going to go and hand into the spirit bear. But yeah, once again, just thank you so much for being here. Um, if you're subscribed to the channel, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, by the way, please make sure you go and hit that subscription button, ding that bell, all that good stuff, so you don't miss out on any of the new content uploaded to the channel, especially the Bee Swarm. Um, but yeah, if you're someone that's ever watched or left a comment or, you know, left a like or shared something with me on Twitter or use my star code uh, when you've grabbed some Robux or any of that stuff, thank you so much. Uh, it's been quite the journey, and it is not over just yet. Oh my goodness me, no. <laughs> we are we are 200 in and going strong. Uh, anyway, should we go and hand in this quest? I feel like that's what we should do. So I think off the top of my head, this is either quest number 14, 15, or 16. I'm not too sure which one. Uh, I haven't been rushing through these too much. I've kind of just been enjoying doing the quests. I don't really want to just pile through it immediately and then just have nothing to do. Um, so I am really, really enjoying doing these quests. Ooh! Oh, and Coconut Crab is ready. Okay, I've got a bit of a side mission, which is to try and actually get it defeated under a minute. And our best time currently is one minute and three seconds. I feel like maybe we're going to have a go. We're going to see what we can do. I'm on a public server, so I might swap to a private one when we do the Coconut Crab. But anyway, let's see what Old Spirit Bear has to say. 
Let's break out our finest Irish accent. Okay, I was, how did Irish go again? Oh yeah. You call yourself a rascal. I call you just plain rude. Oh, there you are, dear. I apologize. I've forgotten your name. I'm so bad with names. I never forget a face. Names. I'm just terrible. Oh yes, I remember now. What were we doing again? Quests. Wait, don't tell me. Give Spirit Bear a moment. It's all coming back. All come back to me after I wake up. Let me just do a few stretches now. She slowly lifts her arms up and down. Do you know Brown Bear? Yes, Brown Bear is very, very German. Over by the clover field. The bear with the straight nose and his fur. Well, his fur, it's brown. Yes, that one. He's always been a bit shy, a bit reserved. But reserved, oh no, but not, oh, I've completely screwed that up. Okay, but reserved, mm -hmm. I've known him since he was a cub. He'll talk to you, oh yes, he'll talk. But he never lets much out. There's conversation. But then there's conversation. You know what that means, yes? Oh, there's conversation and then there's conversation. So he's like, you know, Brown Bear isn't really giving us all of the deets, but he's still being kind of polite. Side note, in case you're new into the series, <laughs> I do a voice for all of these different bears. And yes, I know the voices are terrible, but uh, <laughs> Brown Bear is a German voice. <laughs> and I wish there was more dialogue with the Brown Bear because I love doing the German, but I haven't done it for ages because it's just like a repeatable quest, which kind of sucks, but hey. <laughs> well, anyways, the other day I saw Brown Bear at the shrine. Uh, I'm here all the time, mind you, and I've never seen him in my life here. He never struck me as a spiritual bear. I was quite taken aback. I didn't ask him what he was doing there. That would have been rude. I don't even think he saw me. Uh, he, I don't think he saw me. He, uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> it's really hard to do it when you do the voice. It's unbelievable. I don't even think he saw me see him go there. It's a hard sentence to do. Okay. I couldn't. Couldn't make out if he was offering anything to it. I didn't hear the chimes, so I don't think he did. Uh, but he was there for quite some time. She rocks her head back and stretches her neck. Ah, oh, I'm waking up now. Oh, yes, I remember. Here you are, dear. Only four more to go until the second spirit petal. Okay, so this is quest number 16, right? Okay, cool. Boom. So 150 million reward, uh, 50 moon charms, one cloud bar, 10 jelly beans, 100 pineapples, and 200 royal jellies, two cheeky glitters. Boom. Okay, here we go. How many times has this happened? How many times will it happen again? On and on, again and again, eternally recurring. A beekeeper, a hive of bees, a bear, a guide, me, you, them. She stares at her. <laughs> she stares at the eyes on each of your bees. Him. She glares up at the mountain. You too. She glares at the wind shrine. You over there. She glares back at Black Bear. And you. <laughs> she glares at Mother Bear. Mm. You. <laughs> she glares at Panda Bear. Panda Bear. Look over here for a moment. And him. <laughs> she glares at Science Bear. You and you. She glares straight up into the sky. And all of you. All of you. She glares behind your shoulder. How long can I go on? Alice can go. How long has it gone on? Good question. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, not even I know. Or do I? Yeah, I don't. Unless. But listen here. I have a feeling that it will never end. You will always come back to me. <laughs> I will always give you this quest to you. In so many ways. In ways more distant. Yet also more familiar. That we can possibly imagine. This mountain is more my home than could ever make my home. Okay, oh my goodness. Each voyage I've made wasn't a journey at all. It was a homecoming too. Your bees when they hatch, uh, their familiar faces, all the mystery, all the magics, echo of our own lives. She tosses the petal into the air. There we go again. Isn't it just like us to swarm around like that, dancing, dancing, blow away. Try your best. She watches the petal float away. <laughs> You'll be back before you know it. She takes a coconut out of her petal belt. She tosses it off the cliff. <laughs> It makes a loud thud and cracks. Off it goes! Don't worry, that one will be back too. <laughs> so will you, dear. This quest shouldn't take too long. But before you know, uh, how about a little you-know-what? Ah, okay, you always give us a memory match. That's really sweet. So I would definitely say, um, <laughs> excuse me, I've just been sneezing. Um, <laughs> like, uh, Spirit Bear, she definitely has the longest quest lines out of all the bears. Um, uh, not so much, well, in terms of the quest line, yes, but also how much she actually says. She has, like, so much dialogue, it's insane. Uh, okay, so this quest here is Beternity. We have 400 million white pollen, 300 million from the pepper patch. And this is the first time that we've ever actually really been asked to do the pepper patch grad uh, the grinding, so I, I quite like that. I would quite like to get the badges done. Uh, 50 million goo from red flowers, 250 million from pumpkin patch, use 5 red extracts, catch 20 fallen coconuts, uh, collect 300 sunflower seeds, collect 300 pineapple tokens... Uh, use the wealth pot three times, match ten pairs in memory match, and donate five tropical drinks to the wind shrine. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of cool. It gives me something to do in the background. Uh, but let me just go and hand this in. I'm going to go and whack on my...
I'm going to brown bear, aren't I? Oops. Uh, I'm going to go and um, put my demon mask on, and then I'm going to go and take down the coconut crab, and then we're going to go and get ourselves the coconut clogs. Okay, yeah, so as I kind of mentioned a little bit earlier, in terms of the better masks having the passive abilities than the previous ones, uh, you've basically got yourselves the diamond mask, the demon mask, and the gummy mask. So for example, with the gummy mask, uh, if you have also the honey mask, which is the one before it, which is found in the ace place inside the sprinkler shop, uh, because I have both of those, but I'm wearing the gummy mask, it still allows me to have the coin scatter ability, which is the passive from uh, the honey one. So the other example of this is if we go and equip the demon mask right now, the demon mask ability is X flame. So that's the cool like X shape that goes across the field. However, because I also own the fire mask, if we actually go and have a little look here, we do also have ignite. So ignite is the passive ability from the fire mask. So yeah, it's kind of cool because it means that if you have made those masks previously, they're not completely useless and they do actually contribute towards the better masks. However, if I was to recommend one of these three masks, I would still recommend the gummy mask over all of them. So I've been playing around with all three of the masks. The diamond mask, yes, it is good in blue fields. The demon mask, yes, it is good in red fields. However, an overall mask, which can do pretty much everything, even with the slight nerf of the gummy ability, I still do think that the gummy mask is the best. Uh, okay, here we go. So what I'm gonna do as usual, I'm gonna try and build up a 10 stack of focus gonna go and slap on them stingers and we're gonna see if we can take down old Krabby in under a minute. Okay, one more to go. There it is. And da da da! Activate stingers! Alright, so I for some reason always take a hit straight away. I don't know why. It always throws me off. There you go. I always get the hit in. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but I've also put on some oil because I thought increasing the beam move speed might be kind of useful. But as long as we can keep that 10 stack, and this time I'm actually going to pay attention to my stingers, because for some reason I always forget to, like, top them up. So I'm going to keep doing that. We haven't had a single Vicious Bee spike, I don't think. But I'm kind of hoping we'll get one pretty soon. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, come on! All right, let's try again. Oh, there we go! I got it! I got it! I got it down! Okay, okay, okay. I took a few losses. I, like, if I didn't get the correct time, I would just, like, jump out of the field and reset it. So I think this is, like, the fourth time, technically, I've done it. But, oh, this could be a good one. This could be a spicy one here. Uh, hopefully this was under a minute. It felt like it was under a minute, but I could be wrong. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me just collect the rewards. Loads of micro converters, which is amazing, because that means I can do the next episode. Oh my goodness, this could be super fun. Yes! Okay. Big question is, did we get under a minute? Three, two, one... No! 103 again? Oh, oh I, f I felt I had it. I felt I had it, but I didn't. Oh, three seconds. Well, technically four seconds. So we've got to try and shave off four seconds somewhere there. I mean, maybe just that extra Vicious Bee spike would be amazing, but... Oh. Oh, well, I guess we can try again tomorrow. Anyway, are we ready now to purchase ourselves these beautiful coconut clogs? Here we go, lads. Here we go. So, in order to get these bad boys, we need 100 coconuts, 50 tropical drinks, 100 glue, 100 oil, and 10 billion. And they give us uh, two times pollen from coconuts, uh, which is when the pollen, the coconut things drop on your head. So we'll, we'll mess around with that a little bit. That might be kind of fun to try out. Uh, 10 times plus pollen, 5 plus B attack, 25 plus honey from tokens, 10 plus player move speed, 22% plus jump power, 12% movement collection, and the passive is coconut haste. So basically we are buying these specifically for the coconut haste ability. Um, but yeah, I still think that's going to be really useful. And they look so fancy. Look at them. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Craft item. Coconut clogs. <laughs> Look at these bad boys. What are those? They're coconut clogs, of course. I mean, these guys are up here with crocs in levels of style. Look at these bad boys. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, I actually really want to see the ability. So, basically, yeah, these aren't going to be as good as our gummy boots. But how do we trigger coconut haste? That is what I want to see. I don't quite know how to trigger it just yet. Passive Ignite. Emergency Coconut Shield. How do we trigger it? Do we drop a coconut? Boom. Dude, we get like 12 million honey every time we drop a coconut. 
<gasps> wow. Okay. Let's try that again. Drop a coconut. Boop. How do we do? Oh, we get less then. Uh, okay. Um. Oh. How do I trigger the ability? Coconut. 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 Uh. <laughs> Does it just make us generally faster? I'm not actually too sure how to do it. Hang on, I'll work on it. Give me a sec. Okay, so it says here, when the player is hit by a falling coconut, the player gains a stack of haste. So, for example, if we literally drop a coconut... Where's my haste? <laughs> Does it mean the, um, the ability on the backpack? Does this not count? Yeah, because I am not getting a stack of haste from that. Okay, so I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's try the Inspire one. So we just need two more Inspire tokens to activate the Backpack's ability. I mean, obviously we're going to use the Gummy Mask, so we are still going to be using the Backpack, of course, so we will be able to see this, but... Okay, here we go. So Coconuts. Uh... What am I meant to be seeing? The passive activates when the player is hit by a falling coconut. When it does, the player gains a stack of haste. Along with that and all their bees get a move speed surge for two seconds. Aha! There we go, look! So I put the gummy boots on. Now says catching a falling coconut grants a stack of haste and a two second surge to both bees and move speed. So, in theory, does this double up with the windy bee? Because, in theory, as soon as you get, like, a wind token, you could then drop a coconut, get the ability, and then have a longer tornado. Is that going to work? I don't know. I kind of want to try. Uh, so what if we try and get one? Oh, there's people in the field. So Did I just jump in this field with other people? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make a mess of it in a minute. Um, okay, here we go. So if I plant a sprout, I drop a coconut, I get my stack of haste, and then I hit this. Did that give me a super long windy? Uh, a super long tornado? I mean, I would assume so. Uh, okay, let me test this without the sprouts and stuff. <laughs> In theory, though, that's amazing, because it means you're going to get the maximum amount of... Then again, what does what does a stack mean? Does that mean 10? Huh. It just says a stack. Okay, let me try this again. So I've got absolutely zero haste right now. If we drop a coconut, we jump underneath. Oh! Okay, so it just gives us one. And it gives us a speed boost. Okay, right. So I thought it was going to give us a stack of 10, which would then extend our... Um, which would then extend our... Um, there, look. Coconut speed. Ah, okay. So it's a separate thing. Ah, oh, okay. I was going to wonder. That could be like super OP, especially when collecting them sprouts. But I guess, unfortunately, that's not the case. But okay, so I don't know why I couldn't get it to work with just the coconut boots. I would have thought that would have been a thing, but we can definitely get it to work with the gummy boots, which is nice. Um, so we now have the coconut haste ability, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so in terms of what I've been doing in the background, aside from the quest, I have been slowly but surely leveling up my bees. So you can see here, like when we started this update, we had like mainly level 12s with a couple of level 13s, a couple of level 15s. Now all of ours are level 13. We're starting to work on the level 14s and we still have those level 15s because level 16 is insane. So what I thought we would try and do is try and get as many of them up to level 14, but I'm doing it slowly but surely in the background. It's nothing too exciting. It's literally just using trees and then sticking them in the hive slots and that's about it um but yeah that's kind of what i'm working on in the background and next episode we are going to be doing something super fancy to celebrate 200 episodes although technically it's going to be episode 201 but hey <laughs> it's going to be super fun well there we have it coconut clogs are bought i'm going to keep soldiering on here with the quest line and yeah i will i like cats hello i like cats and yeah, I will see you guys next time. So if you did enjoy this, please remember to put me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, <laughs> go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It has been such a pleasure. <laughs> As always, thanks. Rantia.